Hello everybody, welcome to Gary the Gamer channel. My name is Garrett. Welcome to my channel. Today we're doing some more of Pokemon Violet. It's been some time since the last time we played this, aka last week. To be honest, nothing has changed really. Uh, yeah, I also found out that we can do another mystery gift code. Let us do that before we get into anything else. Uh, the goal today is to do the this gym leader that we're in, travel to the next one, and then do that gym leader as well. Which we're kind of close by. It looks like they're doing mass outbreaks as well. Oh, I need X. Poke Portal. Let's do mystery gift. Just like last time, this is similar to the last one, where this one will end on oh so it it's available until february 28 2025 this is yeo yeosobi palm out palm out palm out yeah let's see if i can know how to do this correctly that is i need a Zero and then an A. I need an S. Zero. B one B. One R. One B. One R one Yeah, I think I think that's correct. Is <laughs> that's a weird password. <laughs> oh, there it is. So this is available till the twenty uh, two thousand twenty five next year in uh, February. We got the palm off. By the way, um, I'm pretty sure this is from also the anime as well. Go us. Palm off. Uh, hands on Pokemon electric fighting. Ooh, that's an interesting combination. Palm off's fluffy, palm off's fluffy fur acts as a battery. It can store the same amount of electricity as an, an electric car. That doesn't sound like a whole lot. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll just go with that. You know, just go with it. Let's get disconnected from the internet. Let's continue the story to greatness with... Oh, I'm, I'm facing towards it. No? I'm facing away from it. There it is. Can you guys imagine what we're going to be versing here? Hold on, what, what do we have first? Okay, good. <laughs> Maybe. I'm not entirely sure about this one, guys. Just a stage. Looks like a battle arena? Okay, this is gonna get interesting. Well now, Garrett. Oh, howdy, Hassel. You appear to be progressing well on your gym circuit. What's this now? Is this that kid I've been hearing so much about? And who might you be? And why is your hair all the way down to your knee? What the? <laughs> hey, kiddo. I heard you're, like, way too good at battling, yeah? Not that good. Pah. You can't fool me that easily. No need to play humble, you hear? This young lady would be Rika. That's me, Rika, here at your service. Why is your hair so long? And why is the front part of your hair not so long? Someone, please tell me. <laughs> and hey, I know I'm pretty, but no need to get intimidated or anything. That's not at all what I just said, but okay. She is a little... Fars farsi farsical? 
shall we say, but like myself, she's a member of the Elite Four. What? I wasn't trying to be funny. Anyway, hmm. Tell you something, kiddo. You look fun. What? <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Like, interesting. At a glance, anyway. Naturally, he is one of our Academy's esteemed students. Oh, haha. <laughs> yeah, that checks out. But the battles you'll face at these gyms really ratchet ratchet up the further the farther you go. Indeed, your average trainer abandons the challenge at roughly this very point. But not you, right, kiddo? I don't know, I might give up. <laughs> See you when you hit the champion assessment. You show the, the you show these gems what you've got. And my stuttering, why not? Best of fortunes to you. I don't think I need it, to be honest. I think we got this hands down. Welcome to the Mont Montenevera gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Garrett. Yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> Great. Now, in order to face gym leader Rhyme, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Here at the Ma Montenevera gym, that means warming up the audience for the main event. That's right. You're the opening act. Your job is to get up on the stage, show us some dead fierce Pokemon battles and get the crowd excited before the gym leader's concert begins. You can start the gym test by speaking with MC Sledge in front of the stage outside. Now get out there and have fun. Not gonna lie, when she said uh, MC Sledge, the first thought in my mind was, why would a sledgehammer be in front of a microphone? I don't know why that sounds weird. Hey, you. Opening act. Yo, trainer. You the one to perform in the opening act today? My name's MC Sledge. This is the stage right here. So here's the deal. We're going to have you do some double battles. That's where you'd have two Pokemon fight on each side. That'll let you sledge up double the opponents and get the audience twice as excited. The venue will be so hot, it'll melt the Mon Montene Montenevera snow. Once you get the audience worked up and ready to go, that'll be the cue for our leader to take the stage. That's how you pass our gym test, yo. Your opening act begins as soon as you get up on stage. There'll be no backing down until you win. Three times in a row, so make sure you're ready. You good on the deets for the opening act in our gym test? Ready to sledge him up? <sighs> Dude, I was born ready. Sweet. Just play it by ear. You'll do great. Head on up to the stage. It's kind of sad. I don't get to go walking up there. They let me do it anyways. I hear the door behind me like having issues. I'm, I'm assuming because it has something to do with the wind outside. I don't know. What's up, Montenevera? Today's opening act will be three back-to-back -back double battles by our challenger here, Garrett. And the first of their three opponents will be a young performer who makes it look like a breeze. Emphasis on young. The one, the only, Taz. Double battles, that means one plus one, right? Can you do that math? Howdy, Taz. You seem quite young to be... Um, versus me. Wait a minute. So Gardevoir got insomnia. Was that from Shep Shepard? Shepard? Shepard. Okay. 
How do I want to approach this? Both ghosts. Um, I have both of my fairy type out. This is going to be interesting. Let's go with the side beam on Shepet. Shep Shepet. Shepet. <laughs> Ooh. Now that's that's spicy. Let's go Gravard. Come on, poison. Not poison. Paralyze. Yes. It works. 5% of the time, it works. What? How did... What? Wait. <laughs> what just happened? Wow, this battle is amazing. I'm going to call my... I was about to say my attorney, but this kid needs that. Oh, my word. Um... You know, if it worked the first, let's do it the second time. Man, Cybeam's so good. Is that or Shepet is just not as strong? Probably that. One plus one is two, right? Right? Audience's cheering got a little louder. The Mountain Nevera stage has all the latest tech. The more excited the audience gets, the more the stage will light up. Keep on sledging, you got this. You healed up my Pokemon, and I only need probably a couple of ethers, and that's basically it. And our challenger's next opponent will be a musician with a bit of a unique style. It's Lanny. Uh-oh. Strong compliments, weak. The harmony of two Pokemon battling in unison. Okay. Let's see what Lanny got. Haunter and a Mistrevis. Interesting how there's a lot more more diverse ghost types in this game. Yeah. Haunter should be super effective. Let's go after the Mistrevis with the lick. Come on, paralyze, paralyze, paralyze! Yes! This does not happen normally. <laughs> Something's rigged here. What's going on? Um, Psybeam? There you go, Gardevoir. Gardevoir is like the strongest thing I have right now against Ghost. We got lots of level ups. Jumpluff wants to learn U turn. I don't think I need U turn on Jumpluff. It's bug. But what I have now is good enough, right? Let's get rid of Fairy Wind. Should I do that? 40, 100 accuracy, 70, and 100 accuracy? Should I go with Fairwind? I have two fairy type Pokemon right now. I think I can get rid of Fairwind, yeah. Get some kind of bug as well, that's good. Uh oh. Um. Hopefully it's only for that time. Thank you, audience. Oh, Gardevoir got some some attack up. So does Dash Bun. Dash's Bun. There we go. Let's go with the Psybeam. Let's see if Mistrevis can take on the Psybeam. Go play rough, I guess. Is ghost type like weak or something? Like There's something going whoa. Her hair is clipping on that right side of her ear. I should know her cheek. What? <laughs> that wasn't harmony, it was caco cacophony. 
I am raking in the big bucks now. Let's go. The audience is really getting excited, especially that snow runs in the front. <laughs> Your opening acts turned the cheering and the stage lights up to 11. What a surprise from our new challenger. Who'd have thought they'd sledge it up this much? Next is your last opponent, and it's none other than... I was about to say him, yeah. Me! MC Sledge! I had a feeling it was him, honestly. Being an MC isn't my only forte. I can battle too. I'll sledge you up real good in a double battle. And who shall you have? MC Sledge. Sableye and Driftblint. This. Okay. This might get interesting. Let's go Psybeam on Driftblint. And then the play rough on Sableye. That should take care of Sableye. And hopefully, uh, Gardevoir will take out Driftlim here. With a Psybeam. No, Driftlim is a bit more uh, tanky. It's probably the most tankiest thing I've bought. Uh, not bought. I've fought today. <laughs> it's an F, not a B, Garrett. We got more attack. Wait, did that carry over, by the way? Hold on, we gotta see. We gotta see this first. No, it did not carry over. Wait, why is this? Oh, it got stockpiled. The defense. Yeah. Let's go with hypnosis on the drift blend and lick. Don't go paralyzed. Oh, thank goodness. But you, oh gosh. Don't go paralyzed, but also, you know, make it sleep. Let's go with Dazzling Gleam. And then play rough. Yeah, never mind. Play rough is good. Ooh, Grafefe. Got the, uh, ooh, substitute. That might come in handy, actually. Uh, do we get rid of Doodle? Get rid of Doodle. Get rid of Doodle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting rid of Doodle. Substitute is really good, especially in the late game. It was you who sledged me up. Your Pokedex has been updated. Was it Driftblim or Sableye? Probably Sableye. Oh, there's a Schnom! <laughs> the audience's excitement has reached a fever pitch. Whoa, awesome! That was a great battle! How lucky! That was a rare sight! The Schnom is a rare sight, I tell you what. Thank you, Garrett. Congratulations, you passed the gym test. Give him a round of applause, everybody. Warm up the audience for Rhyme's con concert. And guess who gets to, to verse Rhyme now? I feel a scary good sense of unity in the crowd. Perfecto. We're ready to go for the main event. Come on, everybody. Say it with me. This is what you've all been waiting for. Give it up for the MC of Rip Rhyme. Rhyme, 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 woo! It's a lady. Okay. Um, I think I'm more concerned about the hairstyle. Uh, what's all this noise I'm hearing? This crowd, this crowd's so loud it could wake the dead. 
I'm concerned about her hair. <laughs> let me tell you, let me tell you what I want to hear. Y'all feeling good? Yeah, we're feeling good. Right, 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 right. Woo! Thanks for the killer opener, baby. Now, I'll get this started for real. Congrats on the gym test. That was so that was sick. Yo, thanks. Give us a min for some rhyme time. You feel me? Go ahead and tell the lobby staff for your past. Ah, uh, fine. I got rich off of this though. 1500 plus the 600 600 600. That's in total 1600 6, 16,800 yeah amazing job Garrett you were a fantastic opening act that's the gym test cleared then well th well done you've now earned the right to challenge the gym leader best of luck are you ready to challenge gym leader rhyme the MC of rip whatever the heck is rip <laughs> sure very well. Allow me to show you to the battle court. Also, I don't need your luck, lady. Trust me. I got this. It's confidence in yourself. Yo, yo. Sounds like there might be a rap battle going on over at the stage. This is my time, and this is my day. You're not gonna stand in my way. Listen up, Rhyme. Your reign ends here. You're gonna get rung up by this pro cashier. What? <laughs> what am I watching here? Pro cashier? Well, I'm about to check out. Must have got your rhymes on deep discount. Please, you think you can step to my game Fool, I got rhyme right there in my name. I'm a specter from which there is no protector, and victory unto me you will render when the crowd sees you are a mere pretender. You want to end my reign? Yeah, keep dreaming. Buy a book of rhymes, kid, and start reading. I'm done. You won. My rhyme's totally whiffed, but I'll be back. Maybe after my next shift. Hold up. Where are you going? That's all you got? Whoa, what's up with your eyes? Af after my next shift? Seriously? Bars over jokes? Come on. That was over way too fast. It gets boring wearing the crown if no one makes me fight to keep it. Huh? Hey, you... <laughs> hey, my opener's back. You here for a rap battle or a gym battle? I, I mean, I'm here for either one, to be honest. I could probably rap better. No. <laughs> gym battle, of course! As if I needed to... Even needed to ask. You were captivated by that show I put on, huh? I rap what's in my soul, baby. Weaving words into a symphony of poetry. Don't try it with me. You won't last one round. I'm like Sableye. My mean look will lock you down. Like that? You feel me? No. <laughs> I just try to aggravate her, that's all. Huh. Well, let's get to it. You're a Pokemon trainer, so battle me and show me who you are. My music's not all that tops the charts. My skills with ghost types are the best around. Then stop rhyming and let's get this on, shall we? Lest you forget it, the name is Rhyme, and I'm known as the MC of Rip. Dead or alive, let's make this a vibe. Hi, Rhyme. Oh, look at that. Two new Pokemon we haven't seen yet. 
We don't mess around in Montenavera. On my stage, we double battle. Don't let it scare ya. We got Bayonet and... I'm oh, sorry, Bay Bayonet and Mimikyu. Let's see if uh, Mimikyu can last my favorite move. Show us an awesome battle, Rhyme, and you too, student kid. Wow. I'm just a student, guys. That's all. Oh, Shadow Sneak. Not that one. Oh, I see. Come on. Paralyze. 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 No, the one time I need it. Oh, that's right. Nice. He totally nailed that Pokemon's weakness without battle batting an eye. That w oh, because of Lick? I guess so. What we're going to do is get rid of Mimikyu. I feel like that's going to be the best option we have right now. I feel like that's going to be good. I don't think I can heal from here, so let's heal from the bag. All we have to do is last with uh, Gardevoir. The, the problem with Gardevoir is that Gardevoir is psychic, so thus... That's why. Ghost is super effective to psychic. Let's give him a taste of their own medicine, I guess. Let's go with Miascarada. We're going to attack with Miascarada, and then we're going to heal with Dash's Bump. Aw, oh, snap, a super effective move. That's so tight. Ryan, 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 woo! Accuracy. Uh-oh. That's not, that's not good. Go Night Slash. Let's see, Mimikyu you can last with Night Slash. Let's revive Gardevoir because I need that XP. Come on, Meowskarada. using slash on da Dosh's bun. Huh. Oh no! Ouch! That hurt! He's holding out against Rhyme's offensive! Come on, you can do it! Uh, I don't know if I can do this actually, to be honest. Uh, I guess everybody aim at the one and only Mimikyu? Lick Mimikyu. Uh oh, not Shadow Sneak. Flower Trick it. Nice. Critical hit as well. I'll take it. Come on, Dosh's Bun. We gotta paralyze. 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 Yeah. So we will be able to. What the heck is a Houndstone? When a Rhymes Pokemon went down. Woo, this is so exciting. Really? It is? My Pokemon fell too, and you weren't that excited about my Pokemon falling. This feels weird. <laughs> Go after Houndstone. Because I feel like I actually just play rough with uh, Bayonet. Bayonet. Bennett? Flower Trick's pretty good. Oh, it's pretty good. Yeah. I wonder what Rhyme's gonna bring out next. Oh! Well, spoke too soon with the play rough. Forgot about that. Whoops. Um, got fairy poison, but this is ghost and I'm pretty sure it's just ghost. Oh no. Wait, how is that ghost? <laughs> yeah, it's a vibe now. Put your hands up. Rhyme, rhyme, rhyme. I'm confused. 
that is not even slightly too ghost type. Unless... Unless... I need a heal. <laughs> because I have a feeling I know what's gonna happen next. It's gonna be a terrestrialize happening. Besides mine, okay, besides mine. Got that dragon type. You know what? That was not the best idea. Just thinking about now, um, they have play rough. Kick back, relax, and enjoy this last track. Turn it up for a grave rattling good time. Howdy, Angel Rose. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? Oh. I had a feeling there was something fishy about those gravestones. You're 26 yesterday, today you're 27. Nice. Happy birthday, by the way. When I'm on the mic, even the dead rise up. DJ G Rav, or sorry, Rave, over there's sure filling it. This is weird. Thank you. You're welcome. Not a problem. Hope you had a great day. It's your birthday. I don't like this Pokemon. Toxicity. We gotta get rid of Houndstone as quick as possible here. So we can deal with Toxicity. Don't. Oh. Um. I think they just, like, destroyed their chance of getting rid of my guy. Awesome, that was perfect timing to Trestalize. I don't think that was perfect timing. <laughs> Honestly. Um, Houndstone had... Had a Fairy-type move that could have ended Grafefe. Grafe? Grafe? Gra yeah. <laughs> Whatever that Pokemon's called. My goodness, a lot, of, a lot of stuff happening here with stats. I'm trying to get a shiny with the birthday mark today. Nice. Let's grab a revive. Toxicity has the go, so we can lick. Hope you're going to be able to get the shiny with the birthday mark. Sounds interesting. Paralyze, paralyze, paralyze. Ah, put your soul into it, to Toxtricity. Let's bring the power. Oh, Hex. Uh-oh. Woo! Let's go with Substitute. Um, play Rough? I like how Dosh's Bun is the only Pokemon that I've had out this whole time. This guy is a trooper, I tell you what. The dog beat you. Giving up the ghosts, not really my style. I'll let you have this one, though, baby. 7,000? That's nothing to scoff at. Huh. Great battle. Chilling and thrilling. You've got spirit, kid. You earned my gym badge, alright. And how about a VIP pass for my next show, too? I guess I'll take that. Sure, why not? Montanevera, gym defeated. Victory Road? We got the ghost badge. With four gym badges, it'll be easier to catch Pokemon of up to level 40 and they'll listen to what you have to say to. I'm feeling so good at that I think I'm go also going to let you have this. You obtained Team 114 Shadow Ball. My goodness, Shadow Ball went above 100? Jeez. The user attacks by hurling a shadowy blob 
at the target. This may also lower the target's special defense stat, which is really useful. Too bad it's over. May make your way back to my stage sometime. Maybe next time we rap battle. Instead, who knows? I'm sure you've got some scary good adventures ahead. I'll be cheering you for you later. I don't know about the rap battle, guys. <laughs> the rap battle's like iffy, you know? I'm not good with rhymes. Especially if I have to verse someone by name of rhyme. Oh, Garrett, hola. Caught you just at caught you just as you finished up in here. Huh? Nice work. That puts you four badges now in now, right? Man, that's awesome. I can't believe you're halfway through your gym journey already. Your efforts are bearing so much fruit so quickly. It makes me want to just challenge you to a battle right here, right now. But I'm going to have to wait. Because I put together my team of Pokemon specifically to take on the gym leader. Dang it. When I battle you, I want to do it under the best possible conditions. Which means this time, I've got to ask for a rain check. God. This is the worst timing ever. Sorry, Garrett. Forgive me. Forgive me! I have a feeling she just likes to poke her head around the corner every single time I do a, um, a gym. It's like, oh, Garrett's over there. Oh, I haven't seen you for a while. You just saw me like two hours ago. Uh, the list of TMs you can make at the TM machine has been updated. Let's heal up because I'm pretty sure... Yeah. This place is spooky. Woo. I wonder what the next one's going to be about. So the next gym I want to go to is like next door but i don't know how far next door is to it i'm not sure how to get there we'll find out we'll find out together what do you mean i can't ride raid in here must have been by that hill so the map is why why because why not so this is the next gym I want to get to. Is there a traditional way to get there? Oh, it's probably the way that I'm going right now. I see a bridge. Let's get going. Glaciato Mountain. Or is it Glaciato? One of the two. Oh, there's a Gardevoir. I can't tell which one is which of that, but is there a male and a female? I'm looking for a female. Oh, Glaceon. Hey, Glaceon. I didn't see you there. I'm trying to figure out what is the difference between a male and a female Gardevoir. Why do people like the female variant of Gardevoir, though? I don't know. Ooh, Snover. And a Bergmite. Anything else can we see from here? There's a Cretane. There's also a Deli Bird. Snow Runt. Ronzong. Uh, there's other Pokemon in the background, but I'm not... Maybe it's too far away? Or is that just... It might just be like uh, flowers and stuff in the background. Oh, <laughs> switched my my positioning here. Come on, Glaceon, get in the Pokeball. Don't be stubborn. Get in the Pokeball. I might need to get more Pokeballs. I need to get another male Ralts, and I need to put a Dawnstone on the Curlia. Okay, fine. We're going back to hypnosis. Being very stubborn at this, Glaceon. I don't like it. Did I use my weakest attack on this thing?
No, Draining Kiss is my weakest. So let's use Draining Kiss. Oh yeah, you're correct. You don't put a Dawnstone on it, you use a Dawnstone, yes. My bad, my bad. You use the Dawnstone on the Curlia. You don't... Why would you give it as an item? That sounds stupid, Garrett. Why would you do that? I forgot the terminology in, uh, in Pokemon games. Glaceon. Fresh snow Pokemon. Ice. It lowers its body heat to freeze its fur. The hairs then become like needles it can fire. It could become like a porcupine. Interesting. Glaceon has been accomplished. So I know from a Ralt's perspective, there is a difference between a female and a male. Is it like the ears? Shorter ears? Uh, no, I'm just gonna bypass it. Well, the snow runs sleeping. I shouldn't bother it, yet I just did. It looks like we have to climb up another. Snow run. Why are you running at me? Well, there's a Grevard. Let's battle this guy. Yeah. I twisted my ankle climbing over some rocks. Maybe a battle with will distract me from the pain. Sure. Edgar, the courier. In the Pokemon DLC Part 2, there's a thing you can buy that can help you identify what Pokemon, what Pokemon has what gender, and if it has a mark or not. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. I know that it's just a matter of, of visuals for the most part, but you have to like keep track of over a hundred Pokemon. <laughs> it's it's gonna be kind of hard to do. I forgot about my ankle, but now my pride hurts. That's nice that they have something where it can help you with that. Revive. Great ball. Psyduck. To Montanevera and to the Glaciato Gym. It's just a gym up there? It's not a town? It is why? Yeah, it's just a gym. Huh, look at that. You know the thing you can you use to check to see if you caught a Pokemon or not before you encounter it? That's how you check once you buy it. Um I'm not sure how to check before I go into a battle. But I do know there is um There's always that Pokemon when you go into battle. The Pokeball right next to their, their name, but I don't think I've gone to that point yet. I've got three gym badges, but I failed the interview at the Pokemon League. You, of course, you failed. You only have three gym badges. You need eight, my guy. Oh, ZL and Lockout of Pokemon. Oh, Marcus. Mar Marcos, the black belt. I rarely do ZL. That probably makes a lot of sense why I didn't know that. Volt Absorb. Oh, I can't use any Volt stuff on this guy. Let's go Draining Kiss. Get some more HP off of this. At the point you are, you can only look at the name and if you caught it or not, you could tell if you caught it, if there's a Pokeball next to its name. Yeah. Oh, with the ZL. 
I did I completely forgot about that. Or I wasn't paying attention much. Probably that too. I got three gym badges and still got beat by some little kid. Dude, you only had one Pokemon, my guy. You need six. Ah, oh, yeah, there it is. I see. I see. So that upgrade would help you to identify what is which. Ah. Why did I hit Y? I don't need Y. I need plus button. I will try to note that for the future. I'm just here to pick up the Poke Doll. Oh, oh, I I don't think I've caught that one before. Why did I hit Y again? Yeah, it's a Christ 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 rig. I know it starts with a cry cryogonal. There it is. I knew it started with the C. I know it was cry something. I just didn't know what kind of cry it was. Very rarely I've seen this Pokemon though. Then again, I don't really pay attention to this Pokemon that much. Yeah. Let's get draining kiss. I need some more HP. Because I don't want to use a potion. It's only hit that amount. Should we go with the the higher attack one? 80. Yeah, let's do it. This shouldn't kill it. Hopefully. I hope. Yeah. And if we want to go to red, we could. Uh, the, the 50 would do it. The draining kiss would do that. Looks like we're going to be investing in that. <laughs> Maybe. It did two. And then it broke. It did three. And we caught. I was like, why is there something shiny in the background? Did I ca capture a shiny? No, it's just the, the thing in the snow. <laughs> Cryogonal. Crystallizing Pokemon. Ice. Cryogonal uses its chains of ice to constrict its opponents and then flash freezes them where they stand. Wow. That thing is heavy. 326 pounds. Oh my. You could try teaching one of your Pokemon False Swipe. It's a more even... It's a move even if your Pokemon... Your... Falling? Balling is at 1 HP. It will never go past 1 HP. You hit it with False Swipes. Yeah. I don't know why I hit Y again. I don't need to hit Y. Never melt ice. I could do that, yeah. But I feel like if I did that, I would have to like get a... What is this Pokemon? It's a ground, ground type. And we have Gardevoir. Um, ground, ground, ground. Yeah. Let's do that. If I get false swipes on a Pokemon, it would be something like on something similar to like a Butterf Butterfree would be. Something that has like um, poison or or um, paralyzed type of moves. Challenge alone. So that was supposed to be battling. My autocorrect changed it. I mean, to be honest with you, uh, <laughs> balling sounds correct still. It's normally a rock type, but it's terror type ground type. We've got Float Cell. I think we'll be fine. Oh, is this... Oh, it's a Roly Collie. It's been a while. Uh, which one has more? 60. Water Pulse is definitely best. 
When fully evolved, it's a fire and rock type. I believe this Pokemon was from... Sword and Shield? Maybe not. Correct, it's from Sword and Shield. It, it's just one of those weird Pokemon, I'm like, it's either Sword and Shield or this game. Because I don't remember seeing this past Sword and Shield. Or before Short, Sword and Shield. I wonder, is this the one that goes into that minecart? Like the... It looks like a minecart in a way, but... Experience, experience candy S three times three. Hey, look at that. Now they concised it. It used to have been just one times everything. Actually, no, it still is. Resist Feather has three of them, apparently. Volley Collie Coal times two and three Stardust. Nice. It's a three stage Pokemon. Ye. I think I didn't get this one in Sword and Shield. I, I didn't want to get it past it by the um the base one so i just ended up capturing the second and the third evolution of it with the i believe it was the second dlc yeah the second dlc i believe i got it with it right now it's at stage one yee wally collie cold pokemon rock chunks of the surface of this pokemon's body that have grown old and flaked off have long been used for fuel as an alternative to coal. Not bad. Though, I don't know if I really want to level it up, but... It's definitely a good Pokemon. It goes into a rock and fire type. Repeat ball. Heck yeah, there's a Sneasel. Let's go battle this gym. Hyper Potion run! It's nice to see that it's ground as well, because ground is super effective to fire. So seeing that it can transform into ground, it kind of... I guess if you have water, it doesn't really matter, but still. It's nice to see it. It can take on ground type Pokemon. Do I want Float Cell in the front here? It looks like we're going to be versing like Ice type. Ooh, TM, I'll take that. Is there stairs I can use? I could just YOLO jump off, but I'd rather use the staircase or the, the slope. <laughs> Not much of a staircase. Ice heal. I think I'm going to need that. That lagged up a little bit. I saw the hunter over there. I was very confused. We got another ice heal. I wonder why I need ice heals. So ice is super effective to grass. Oh, so jump bluff is just not worth it. Maybe go graffiti. Graffiti. A. Graffae? Yeah, let's try it. I want to get this to the third evolution. Let's see how this goes. I should save this before entering. But that didn't happen, so. Hey, Garrett! Hey, Chansey! I saw you going into the gym and came running. Listen, I'm really sorry I couldn't battle you last time we ran into each other. Wait, don't get me wrong. I didn't chase you down just to battle you. Then again, I guess I wouldn't mind a battle or anything if you wanted to. What, what do you say? Uh, sure. Yes, battle time. You and me, Garrett. Wait, hold on. I want to be sure to pick the right Pokemon for where you're at in your journey. 
Sorry, give me a sec to fine tune my team, then we can battle. In fact, while you're waiting, go ahead and take on the gym. Okay, I guess so. Jump off four times weak to ice type moves because it's also a flying type. Yee. That's why it's like, uh, nah, we're not going to deal with that one. That's my last case scenario. Welcome to the Glaciado Gym. Glaciado? Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Garrett, yes? Great. Now, in order to face gym leader Grusha, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Is it building a snowman? Here at the Glaciado Gym, that means doing the snow slope run. Ride a Pokemon down the designated course and try to reach the goal within the time limit. To start your test, just head out of the gym and go to the go up the slope to your left. We'll fill you in on it, on the details there. Now get out there and have fun. Ah, uh, you know, have fun? I'm supposed to beat the gym, my guy. It's not all about fun, for the most part. <laughs> I mean, it is fun playing this game, to be honest. Yeah, jump bluff. We're gonna we're gonna keep that on standby in the far back. Last case scenario. I'm assuming this guy I have to talk to. Yeah, which reminds me of jump bluff. What moves does it have? It goes into grass, which is not the best. Uh, if I had to use Jump Love, I would probably use U-Turn. Or Sleep Powder. Sleep Powder could come in clutch. So I do have some case scenario with Jump Love. It would be more like a, okay, get in there, sleep, and get out type of thing. Hey there. I've been waiting for you. This is where the snow slope run starts. Your task is to ride a Pokemon all the way down this course. It's like a slippery, slidey nature trail. Reach the finish line within the target time, and you'll have passed the test. So, ready to attempt the gym test by taking on the slo snow slope run? Oh gosh. This gym leader has one uh, pokey. I wouldn't mind naming a shiny one. Oh, Godzilla. Ah, I see. <laughs> okay. Let's get this test started. Then enjoy the winter wonderland on your way down. It's supposed to be a time trial, my guy. We're supposed to, it's supposed to be competitive. I think. Oh, we're going down the slope that we came up. Sorry about that. My autocorrect took the letters mon out. Oh, autocorrect. Oh, we got a minute and a minute and a half. This is kind of slow, not gonna lie. Go down. Uh, it's solemn, slalom, yeah, slalom. That's what it's called. Oh, went too far. I'm assuming that I'm supposed to do this, otherwise I get a time deficit. Go, go down! <laughs> My goodness. Thank you, Goober, for the subscription. I really do appreciate it, and welcome to Gary the Gamer channel. Oh, family. Gary the Gamer family. There we go. <laughs> My brain. Ah, I say that a lot, but still, it's hard. Hard to concentrate, I guess. Congra congratulations on completing the run. That was some of the best lighting I've ever seen. Are you sure about that? <laughs> sure about that? No, it doesn't affect your time going through them. It makes you go faster. Ah, okay. Almost like seeing Grusha in his prime again. Oh, you obviously passed the gym test with flying colors. Go let the receptionist know. Okay, let's just yellow jump down. Oh, I can't do it, apparently. But... Of course we can. Why would we not? My character says it's a high fall. 
But Moraidon says, nah, we got this. Okay, let's save before we do anything. I'm kind of a bit scared of this gym leader, to be honest. Great show on the slopes, Garrett. You finished the snow slope run, no problem. And you know what that means. You've cleared the gym test, way to go. You've now earned the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. Do you want to face the Sub-Zero Shredder himself, Gym Leader Grusha? Yes. Why not? Very well. Allow me to show you to the battle court. We were born for this! What is a Gridotl doing here? <laughs> um, is he the ref? <laughs> is Gridotl the ref? There you are. Burr, I'm freezing. I take it you're a challenger. And who might you be? My name's Grusha. I'm a snowboarder. Used to be pro, actually. Now I'm a gym leader. I saw you on the slopes. Your skills, yeah, they were pretty cool. But don't let that go to your head. Winter mountains are dangerous. They can throw your life right off course. Easy as that. Same thing with Pokemon battles. Really, it's always the most dangerous when you're just standing to, starting to get the hang of things. Today's not a great day to face me, you know. You're better off giving up. You sure you want to battle me? What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> no, it's more likely wanted the gym. Wanted the gym. Pokemon cheerleaders are known the race. Multiple Pokemon. That's not part of their normal team. Oh. I see, I see. You bet. Of course I'm ready. Still trying to act cool, huh? That's too bad. Gym leaders, not cheerleaders? I mean, same thing, right? No, no, no. Actually, it's not. But still, yeah. Gym leaders. <laughs> well, this is my job now. So don't take what I'm about to do personally. There goes Gridotl. Get ready to feel the icy bite of reality. Challenge the gym leader, Grusha. Frostmoth? Ooh. If only I had a fire type. Don't say I didn't warn you. Not my fault if you get overwhelmed. And you know the issue about that? I have nothing a fire type. <laughs> so, you know. Substitute. Let's go for it. Oh, it's level 47. Mmm. All right, we're going to have to pull out some stops here. This is, if I remember correctly, bug and ice. So let's get some poison in there. Substitute took damage. Substitute faded. But Grafei fa Eye is good. Poison, poison. Aw. Substitute. Oh no! Not the blizzard! Oof! This isn't good. Or is it? Hard to auto battle? Um, I don't really want to auto battle. We might have to go with Gardevoir on this. Because, because Meow Scarada is not good against this. Jump Bluff's not good against this. Uh, Dasha's button? Sure, why not? Let's go for it. It's this or Gardevoir. Jump Bluff is, like, not there. So, we're not even going to think about that. Let's go double edge on this. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, that happened. Um, 
I need a fast guy. Let's go with Meowskareta to finish the job on this. Let's hope Meowskareta is fast enough so that we can take it out. 47 is nothing to scoff at. We might be in, to, in, our, in over our heads on this one. You can use it to check if a wild Pokemon is shiny or not. All about... All about does not work on shiny Pokemon. It also doesn't work on Pokemon if your Pokemon is low HP. Your three times auto battle doesn't work. One, it's a shiny. Two, you have low HP. And three, error glitching out. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, okay. That sounds interesting. It's Frost Moss didn't go down yet. Okay, okay. Float Cell is probably my best bet against this gym. Let's go with a bite. Okay, Float Cell, we got this. We have this thing. Do you know why I say that? Because this float cell has ice for Terra type. Welcome, Pro Gamer. Thank you for the subscription. And welcome to Gary the Gamer channel family. Gary the Gamer family. Yeah. Terrestrialize, let's use Bite. This is probably my best bet to taking out this gym at this level. Not gonna lie, I like the fact I got this Pokemon. Oof. Earthquake, they only have what? Uh, 10 of them? <laughs> Let's hope I have enough Hyper Potions for this. Even Aqua Jet does a lot of damage. I don't think it can use... I mean, I could. Bite does 60, but might flinch. Let's hope we get a flinch. Yeah, Earthquake is a ground type move that's super effective against ice type. That's kind of interesting. It's not super effective to this. Otherwise, it would have said super effective. And the, the sound effect is super effective. I don't think I'm going to win this, guys. Um, You know what? Um, hmm. It became super effective when you turned your water type into an ice type. I mean, it would have, and and my my float cell would have died easily, but for some weird reason, it didn't act as if it was super effective. Like there would have been a sound effect with that saying it's super effective. It would have said it in the text being super effective, but it didn't. And I'm not sure what I'm supposed to use against Beartick here. <laughs> We're here. What do we do? <laughs> do we switch off? Because I do not have the type... Oh, let's use U-turn on it. Yeah, I should have trained other Pokemon. I didn't even know it was going to be 47, to be honest. I'm just like, oh yeah, let's do it. But don't worry. If I learned one thing in this game, sleep is good for the opponent. Unless Baratek wakes up and use Icicle Crash. Specifically. Hypnosis. No! Hypnosis! Also, the Pokemon in Area 0 are level 60, so it's recommended to use level 70. But what? Dang. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to beat this one. However, I am not giving up. 
All I need is a jump bluff. And if there's a way, there's a if there's a will, there's a way. What we're gonna do is something simple. We're gonna keep doing this one strategy until we get this thing. So which one do we revive? <laughs> I'm thinking Doshbot. Yeah, let's go Dosh's bot. Revive it. We can use U-turn. And Bear Tick will beat us up in the process. Bye, Jump Bluff. You are the more, most valuable player on my team. Yeah, I don't think we're going to win this one now. I had a plan with Jump Bluff, but... You know what? It might have been a better idea if, if we used Jump Bluff first. Hear me out here. If we did that same strategy and in sleep, use U-turn, go to another Pokemon, and take out it with a with a with a better move, do you think that could have worked? I lost. You dash button it, you could teach it Fire Fang? I did not know that. Actually, let's go see that. I know I don't have Fire Fang in my TM box. Making TMs. To make TMs, you'll need to gather up materials from Pokemon and earn League points or League LP. The range of TMs you can make will expand as you pick up new TMs or receive them from others during your adventure. While viewing TMs on the TM machine, you can press the X button to select a Pokemon currently in your party and filter only for moves that Pokemon can learn. Oh, that's nice. This is Fire Fang. We can learn that. Do not have the required stuff. I'm assuming it's going to be a Fire type Pokemon. Any other Fire type? Fire Spin. Can't learn that. Don't have any fire type moves, is there anything else that we can go against ice? Rock? Looks like you have an encountered you haven't encountered the Pokemon you need to make it yet, yeah. Rock moves would be good. Ground can't oh that's mud shot. I can't really do that much. Bulldoze, no. Rock type would be good if Mud slap. Can always do that. Fighting types are super effective. That too. So let's go look for fighting type. Low kick. Low kick is good. If that's the only thing I can do, then I'll go for it. Um something tells me so. Yeah. So yeah, we can go with low kick on it. I think what I'm going to do is... I missed it again. There it is. Low kick. Do we put it on... Actually... Before we make this... Let's see if there's any TM that I have in my bag. Or else if you pick up a new TM off of a ground, you'll get the recipe to make it. Nice. TM. We do have low kick. We have rock tomb. Okay, we do have a plan here. So rock is super effective to ice. It's weird, to be honest. And then we have is fighting that's super effective against ice. Uh, let's go with low kick first. Um, I want to put it on Grafe. Let's get rid of... Get rid of Slash? Or get rid of U-Turn? Yeah, let's get rid of U-Turn.
And then Rock Tomb, which is really good. Put on Float Cell. Uh, Icy Wind, Water Pulse, Aqua Jet, or Bite. Uh, but I want to keep both of these. I don't think I'm going to be able to. You know, if you start a Union Circle, I can help you with a Raid Battles... Because I can allow you to do raid battles. That's for the DLC. Um, I'm good. Until I get to the the DLC stuff, I, I kind of want to finish the main game before I do anything of that. Ah, oh, but mm, icy wind's good, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need icy wind later on. So we're gonna have to get rid of one of these two. Can I make aqua jet or water pulse? Oh, we have icy wind here. Never mind. No, don't learn it to Graf Grafei. Yeah, we got we got icy wind. We can get rid of icy wind here. It's it's a weird it's a weird one. Okay, I think I have a plan. It's nice to have plans. So jump bluff is gonna be instrumental in this. Grafei is gonna be pretty good. I think I want to do this. And also, can I level up my guys? I got candies. Got smalls and mediums. Uh, and extra smalls. Let's get... Uh, because I'm going to need both Grafei and Float Cell. Let's just get Float Cell up all the way. We want five on it. Liquidation! Oh! <gasps> Bro, that's a good move. If you go to a Pokemon summary, hit the right arrow key and hit A and hit remember moves. You can remember a move that you deleted. Ooh. It's really useful to check if your Pokemon knows? Knows are moves? <laughs> are more events move after evolving pokemon knows are more oh that knows more of the of the moves after evolving okay i think i get you <laughs> the user slams into the target using a full force blast of water this may also lower the target's defense stat 85 Oh, heck yeah. We get rid of Aqua Jet for that. We take those. Extra smalls. Let's put it on Jump Luff. That didn't really do much. Three. Got it. We got mediums. When we have them, why not, why not use them? Let's get float cell up another level. I'm basically gonna just try getting float cell up another level. Just use all four. We got a rare candy just in case as well. How about you try it out with one of your Pokemon to to see if they have a move. A more advanced move? So you said go to one of the Pokemon, go to Summary. And then... Go... Hit the right arrow key, hit A and hit Remember Moves. Oh, yeah, that's right. All this stuff here. Yeah, so let's go and do that to... I've been wanting to get this guy something more than this. There's switcheroo. Wait. The user trades held items with the target faster than the eye can follow. <laughs> okay. 
You did it for your Pokemon when it evolved into Kingdra. And turns out after it evolved, it learned Ice Beam. So glad I checked it. Well, this has Trick on it. So like Dosh, Dosh is bun here. Hmm. I don't have the ice beam here. <laughs> I mean, we could go with this one. Gardevoir, life do. I don't remember seeing that. <gasps> Sorry, excuse me. Mystical fire. <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah. Pouring that on draining kiss. What? Thank you very much, Angel Rose. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, that's a turn of events. Um, anything else here that I can look for? Crunch, Ice Fang. Ice Fang isn't... Actually, Ice Fang would be better. What about Crunch? Crunch is better than Bite. Why is Bite on here but not Crunch? What? <laughs> For sure, Crunch is better than Bite. All right, we're good. I think. Uh, the levels is still unpredictable. What, what I'm going to do here is use my only rare candy. And we'll put on Gardevoir. So we have choices. We actually have good choices. Glad I told you about it. Thank you very much. Let's go challenge this, this gym leader once again. Mystical fire. Oh, that's going to be interesting. So yeah, like I said, the, the strategy is going to be similar to what we did last time at the very end. Jump bluff is going to be our star. Um, making everybody sleep, essentially. It is possible to do this. It's just going to be a lot of... Masquerade, uh, your Masquerade knows Flower Trick, Play Rough, Aura Sphere, and Night Slash. Nice. Only thing I don't have out of that is Aura Sphere. But nice. Have you checked your Pokemon from Mark yet? I don't think I have. I could have put the... Uh, the friend, the partner Pokemon, the partner mark on it on my Miascreta. I should have done that. I know I do have that specifically because of the Lico's Spir Spiragadito. Is there a way I can skip this? I doubt. We'll just be clicking that A button a lot. This is actually my first time I failed a gym leader. So this is interesting. I, I haven't had this happen. At least in this game. I, I have had that happen before. But I believe in um, Scarlet. Not Scarlet. It's um, Sword and Shield. I think I had that happen once. Maybe twice. I know I failed to the chairman once. Did you go to summary and hit the arrow, the right arrow key two times to see on the right hand side if they have a mark or not? If they do. You can see a thing that says change ribbon or mark. I have checked that last part, but not, not today. No. I do know there is that there. Oh, look at that. Acrobatics. We might not have to switch off, but you know what? We're going to switch off anyways. You know why? Because we get that four times with the mystical fire. My starter has three marks. Nice. No, wh what am I doing? You use U-turn to get out of there. Just don't wake up. Please, Frostmoth. I have a I have a uh, little friend I want to introduce you to. 
Come on, Gardevoir. You got this. Oh, come on. I woke up. Uh-oh. Okay, Gardevoir. Please tell me you got this. Oh, yeah. More than likely. While they a champion mark, it's given to a member of a party that you use to beat the champion. The item finder mark, if you start, if your starter Pokemon picks up a thousand items, my goodness. We got Bear Tick. We're going to bring back out Jump Luff. Do the same strategy. If Jump Luff goes down, then this whole entire thing goes down. We are versing level 47s. That is something to note, and I can imagine the last one is going to be level 50. Sleep Powder coming in clutch. Come on, Bear Tick, don't wake up, please. Just give me like four turns. You, you can do that for me, right? Is U-Turn like waking it up though? I don't think that's the case. We got the low kick. We do rock tomb. Let's go with floats floats out with rock tomb. Oh, thank goodness. In the gourmet gourmet mark, Pokemon that appreciates good food. Interesting. Do we terrestrialize this? Nah, let's go with rock tomb. Just straight up rock tomb. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's even better. Oh, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. One more. Come on, sleep. Stay asleep, please, Bear Tick. No! We can beat it. We can beat it. They they don't have the, uh, the speed anymore. I'm trying to get a shiny Pokemon with the birthday mark, a mark that only appears on your birthday. Nice. That reminds me, my birthday's coming up. I should try doing that. We got Cretane. Cret Cretane. Jump Luff, I need you. I think the hard one's gonna be the last Pokemon that Grusha has. Ketatane. So this is the third. I believe the third evolution. Uh oh. Well, there goes my <laughs> my strategy. Um. Graph AI. It's the second evolution? Oh. Oh, okay, I see. Um, thank goodness it's not... I don't think there's another evolution after this, right? Or is there it? Or, or there is. What kind of Beyblade mood was, move was that? Um, I think I'm screwed here. How much does Ice Spinner have? It has two stages? My brain. I thought there was a third. I thought there was a, uh, I thought it was Quetain, not Ket Ketitan. So my brain is broken. He said it was a third evolution, but no, this is a second stage Pokemon. It only has two stages, the first stage and the second stage. All right. We'll go. Oh. Get it from an ice stone? 
Well, this is going to do a lot of damage. Oh! I have an idea. I have an idea, guys. <laughs> it's faster than Ketan. Ketan. Ketitan. I just need to stay alive. Stay alive and revive. Or do I need do yeah, I need revive. I need uh, I need both my guys back. That did critical. So basically, I need to run out the time here then. I need more hyper potions. I couldn't buy, well, I didn't check, but last time I checked, I couldn't buy it. Maybe I need to wait for the later half, the, la the latter half of the game. Maybe after this gym? Oh, we're staying in it. Only doing 60 damage to me. Thank goodness it poisoned, by the way. I completely forgot about that. Sorry, get to cat 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 tan. Yes. You had your chance, and well, we're now at the final stage. Wants to learn charm. I don't know if charm's good on. It. I could get rid of Baton Pass. Yeah, let's get rid of Baton Pass. I don't think I'm going to need it. Oh. But it goes to the ice, though. Do I go with Low Kick? Altaria isn't that beefy, is it? Not like heavy. Oh, we could try. This is gonna be kind of weird. If I go into terrestrial eyes as well, I'm gonna be getting dragon type. <laughs> um, all right. You're not just talk, I see, but you're still one false step in t from a steep hill. You're not wrong. Altaria, are you 50? 48, okay. I think we got this. Battles are like mountains in winter. The situation can change in a heartbeat. They can learn ice type moves? Yee. Altaria can learn ice beam and ice breath. No, dragon breath. But ice beam spe specifically. Okay. Oh! Oh! Hurricane? Oh, that's right. It is flying. Okay, okay. We got this. We just need Altaria to die by poison. We just need it to die by poison. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay. Okay, we got this. For Graffer, Graffer, right? Forever, the one I was just playing. Using to evolve, it needs to learn Twin Beam and then level up one time. I don't even know how you get Twin Beam. But we need to heal. We're going to basically use Dosh's Bun here as a sponge. I don't need to level up my Pokemon anymore. Trust me, guys. We got this. Please tell me this does not one hit. It does. The critical hit. It does. 
So, basically, we run out the time. We get it by leveling up. All right. That sounds right. So, let's see here. We got Float Cell, right? Do we just battle it? Terrestrialize it? Rock Tomb it? Hope it hits. Ice versus ice. I think we got this. It's a sketch battle, but Mystical Fire came in clutch. Oh, we got this. Dodge. <gasps> End it! <laughs> Woo! We got it. Wasn't sweating at all. Didn't feel discouraged at all one bit, guys. That's a lie, I was. Quite a bit. You melted it straight through my ice. Eight grand? I got more in the previous town. <laughs> then again, this was just a gym leader, so. That burning passion you have, you strive for the future, no matter what challenges you face. Just like how I used to be. Oh, never mind. I should give you your gym badge. Huh? You want a photo together to commemorate your win? Come on. That's, that's so uncool. I don't usually do that sort of thing, but... I don't usually do that sort of thing, but okay, fine. Special occasion. I think the ghost types gym leader supposed to be stronger than her. To me, it didn't feel that strong. Glaciado gym defeated. Victory Road got the ice badge. With five gym badges, you should be able to catch Pokemon of up to level 45 more easily. They'll actually listen to you too, which is nice. Oh, and before I forget, you should take this too. Ice Spinner. TM 124, that's nice. <laughs> it's ice. Uh, <clears throat> the user covers its feet in the... In thin ice and twirls around slamming into the target this moves spinning motion also destroys the terrain Ooh, interesting should be a lot more useful than some silly photo of you and me feel free to stop by again if you don't mind the cold that is no wonder why you struggled the ice and ghost gym is supposed to be the strongest gems? <laughs> oh boy. I love a challenge. Another gym leader defeated. Well done. Rika informed me that there was an unusual trainer worth keeping an eye on. It seems she meant you. I'd guessed as much. I had the pleasure of observing your last match. I was impressed by the fantastic skill you showed. If you manage to keep your momentum and achieve champion rank... I'll be very interested in inviting you to the Pokemon League, and... Hey, hey, Garrett, I've got my team all picked out. Uh, hi, Nimona. <laughs> and I saw you battling the gym leader. You just keep getting better. How good to see you again, Champion Nimona. It has certainly been a while. Wait, Champion? Whoa, wait. La Primera? With Garrett? Why do you call her that? Is she that important? Wait, did I forget to give you the full explanation? Everyone calls Miss Gita La Primera because she's just that. She's the real number one, even higher than us regular champions. She's the top champion. I do indeed hold that claim alongside my role as chairwoman of the Pokemon League, that is. I think after you battle her, she gives you a move called Terra Blast. It's a move when... You change your Pokemon type. It becomes the same type as that Terra type. 
Theratype. Interesting. I thought you were too busy to spend your time at checking in on gyms. I'm not here to inspect the gym. I've come to scout some rather promising young talent. Whoa! I look away for one second and you're famous, Garrett? But hey, I found Garrett first. You may be La Primera, but you can't go stealing him from me. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> for example, it's normally a normal type move, but if you change your water type Pokemon into an ice type, the move that's normal, normally a normal type will turn into an ice type move. Oh, that would be perfect. I like that. I like that quite a bit. <laughs> I suppose I'll have to get in line. That's right. Come on, Garrett. Time for our battle. Quick, let's go. The battlefield's calling. One moment, please. Huh? What is it? I would very much like to observe this match, if that's all right. Oh? Haha, <laughs> totally fine by me. Sounds fun, right, Garrett? Uh, I guess. Sure. I just need to heal my Pokemon first, please? Thank you kindly. I'm already excited to see you two face off. Let's be on our way then. First, can I heal up? Second of all, what level am I versing here? <laughs> they heal your Pokemon before you battle? Okay. Whew. You remember how it all works, right? Once you get badges from all the gems, you get to throw down against the strongest Pokemon trainers around. Yes, you must face the Pokemon League. It is located to the northwest of uh, Mezagoza. The Pokemon League is where trainers are reborn as champions, the greatest honor that they might dream of. Collecting eight gym badges sets you up to take the champion assessment. If you can face the challenge of the final examiner and win, you'll become a champion. Just imagine how that moment would feel. Try getting into that champion mindset. Now, set your sights on reaching that big, important stage, and let's battle- Excuse me one moment. I believe Garrett's Pokemon may still be a little fatigued. Yeah, you, you don't say. I kind of need that. Um, Sorry, I got a little caught up in my battle hunger. Well, you should, be, you should all be in great shape now thanks to La Primera. Okay, Garrett, time to put our game faces back on. Let's have us another fruitful battle, I guess. Yes, I remember the Pokemon League. I had to do a 10 question questionnaire? My goodness. Uh, that's gonna be something. Okay, Nimona, what you got? Please tell me it's something doable. Lion Rock? That's not bad, though not what I would use right now. I know Lama Primera is watching, but no need to get worked up. Just stay cool. <laughs> this what? The what? The pain that I had to go through with the gym, the gym leader here, and now it's level thirty six. Mega drain it. Celerock. Interesting. Oof, that was a good one. Your move really had some zing to it. This is kind of interesting. They kind of like... It goes at each other here. It's like a tit for tat type of thing here. Some of the questions are about the towns, what gyms are in each town, and which gym leader runs it, and what type they use. So I basically have to remember what I've been seeing in this game. Oh boy. I'll try my best. What are we, back in school? I mean, that sounds right. Technically, yes, we're students, so, you know. Got some level ups. We got Gumi. Uh, poison? I think. So if it's poison related, I don't want Fairy. I want Dark. No, I want Psychic. What am I thinking? I'm, gonna, I'm trying to lose, apparently. It's a Water Dragon. Oh, 
that Goomy. Okay. I guess I picked all right. We also ask you what academy you're in. Um, strawberry. Next question. <laughs> it's good thing we got fairy type still. I, for I forgot about Gumi, okay? Because of Gudra. Pomo, which was... I have... I know it comes from Pomot. Or... Pommy. Think Pommy. So, I, th I, I remember correctly, it was normal. So... I'm just going to go with Masquer Miascarada. Why not? It also asks you if you walked or ride a Pokemon. And if you like Pokemon, that's like in almost every single Pokemon game. That question comes up quite a bit, actually. Do you like Pokemon? Yes or no? Uh, of course I'm going to have to say yes. I am playing this game after all. Did buy it. Uh... Whoa, a critical hit. Right when it counts. Luck's on your side for sure. I'm not sure about that one. But, yeah, sure. I'm about to say, I'm pretty sure that's critical almost all the time. Quay Quaval. Well, this should be easy. Haha, wow. You seeing this, Primera? I'm getting backed right into a corner. And two of the questions are repeat questions. They ask you the question, and then they repeat the question to see what you remembered the answer to the question you answered. Whew. It's a water and fighting type. It's a peacock. Oh, it's Seed Bomb. Time to terrestrialize. Watch. I'm going to make La Primera's eyes light up. I'm assuming this battle is not supposed to be on top of the, the the ice mountain, the snowy mountain. I'm assuming this battle is supposed to be right after you get done with your fourth badge. And thus, I'm like you said, this should be like the final one or something. Okay, I'm pulling out all the stops. Get ready. I want to see you stand up to this. So maybe this isn't supposed to be the battle arena that we're supposed to be in. That would make sense. Kind of. And why it's level 37? I just first 47. <laughs> 48. Oof. The last time you battle her is after you beat the Pokemon League? Okay, okay. So this is basically like the midway point. And then after this, you go... Okay. Happens like that most of the time. People are going to start paying more and more attention to you. I just know it. Okay. She seemed kind of happy after that loss. Um, an amazing display of talent, even against one as skilled as champion Nimona. That was a splendid match. I enjoyed watching very much. Now, even La Primera thinks you're one to watch. You've got so much potential. The way you're going, I better watch my back. You know, since the first time we met, I've been weirdly sure of one thing. You're going to become a champion, no doubt about it, Garrett. The rest of us, uh, rest of these gems, you can take them. 100%, no problem. I agree. In fact, you should take this. Consider it an investment in your future. Ah, oh, there it is, Terra Blast, TM-171, Terra Blast. That would be great for my, um, Seraph, 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 for, Seraph, for, <laughs> the, the poison frog look at Pokemon, okay? I get a dragon move. If the user has terrestrialized, it unleashes energy of its Terra type. This move inflicts damage using the attack or special attack stat. Whichever is higher for the user. Oh! So this is whichever 
attack and special attack you have. Oh, this is interesting. I like this. After you beat the normal type gym, if you go inside where you battle, there's a person you can talk to to change your terror type. Yeah. Yeah, we did see that over at... Um, not the previous town, but the town before that. Before we got up here. If a Pokemon uses that move while terrestrialized, the move's type will change to the terror type of the Pokemon. One day, Garrett, you and me are going to have the greatest battle of all. I know it. I'm going to go train up even more than I already have been. Man, Nomoto always thinks about battling. Jeez. She shows you such support and friendship. Or perhaps, perhaps she hopes you truly might rival her. No, I think it's no mere hope. She seems to have complete faith that you will catch up to her. At any rate, allow me to return you to the gym where I found you. Guess what I'm having for supper tonight? Um... One mind, the one thing that comes to my mind sounds good tonight would probably be pizza. So that's my, my my guess is pizza. We got more TMs. New classes are available to take. Pizza sounds good. Pizza and chocolate birthday cake. Nice. Nice. Always good to have those two as a combination. Me, personally, when I have uh, my birthday cake, it has something to do with chocolate on it, for sure. Sometimes I go a little overboard. Just a little. Also, you can fast travel in this game. Yes. Uh, you go to the map, you go to specific, well, the specific locations, which is the Pokemon centers. I think I had to do that last part, I think. I took on the the ground titan. So I was at here, so Med Medali, which is where the normal type was at. And then I fast traveled all the way down to Porto Marenada, took out the ground, and then teleported back up. Should we go after more of the gyms, or should we just do the other stuff? feel like whatever we have done so far, we've accomplished it. What is this question mark? I kind of want to go investigate that real quick. Not this, Pokemon Centers? Well, the Pokemon Centers that you have found. If you find certain watchtowers, you can unlock new fast travel points. Like... Like this one? No. This one. <gasps> oh! Oh! Interesting. You can fast travel to those. I had a feeling there was something... Something about those. So I could have went here instead of here, and I would have gone there quicker. Ah. Missed opportunity. The question mark is a mass outbreak of a Pokemon you haven't caught yet. But you have to climb the towers to activate them. Yee. I try to go up to the top of them. Like this one. Um, Like I said, where should we go next? I'm, I'm actually tempted to go to this uh, outbreak first. Should we take on more Starfall stuff? This is going to be next week. More Starfall, more of the Path of Legends. I believe we only need three more of those. The Starfall, it depends how many there are. Um, oh, we have four more Starfall and three more Path of Legends. Yeah, we have to come back down here and get that gem. We're almost got half the whole entire map completed. That's insane. 
Beating Team Star bases will give you recipe for t more TMs. Ooh. I've only done one so far. Uh, what was it do? Oh, yeah. We're going to go see that mass outbreak. And it is not... I keep forgetting. It is plus. There we go. Yeah, I love the plus button. There's Avalug. Bear Tick. Ugh. Battle. Let's go beat up this trainer real quick. And beating Titan Pokemon will give you ride Pokemon new abilities. You ought to be careful. There's no shortage of strong trainers in these parts. Actually, right after we get done be beating this trainer, Dragon Tamer. Something tells me this is going to be easy. <laughs> I kind of have almost everything, like, set up to go against dragons. Almost. 37. I feel like, like like we could beat up level 50s now if we really wanted to. After beating up that gym leader? Heck yeah. Let's go with Mega Drain. Also, if you beat 60 Pokemon at a mass outbreak, there's a higher chance of finding a shiny. This is where auto battle is useful. Oh. Interesting, interesting. I can tell this game is like the, not the ultimate game of Pokemon, but it's getting to that point. I don't know for certain, but I'll tell you what, this is the best Pokemon game that I've seen in probably ever. Because there's so much stuff that they added to the game and like quality of life that really do appreciate it. Oh, psychic poison can. Oh, no. Never mind. It's Gardevoir. <laughs> I was about to say, my poison type can use Psychic. Uh, the target is hit with a strong telekine telekinetic force to inflict damage. This may also lower the target's special defense stat. Should I get rid of Psybeam for that? It doesn't confuse the target, but it has more damage. So yeah, of course we're going to do that. Why not? In the DLC Part 2, there's a gotcha machine you can use he gives you a one percent chance of getting a master ball <laughs> ball not bull i suppose none of the other trainers were as strong as you a one percent chance wow they're really like they're telling you yeah you can get that just pay the money and come on come on you got it Okay, let's just fly down there. Uh, first, is it just down there? Yes. Fly! There's another trainer here. Avalug! I haven't seen so many Avalug in a while. Let's beat up this guy. What's up? Wild Bull Transport. At your service, what say we have a quick battle? It costs BP points and material from Pokemon? Martin the Courier. BP, huh? Battle points? Or to auto battle. True, I should do that. Instead of just battling each of the Avalog. Let's go with... Let's go with Sleep Powder. I'm trying to think of what Tauros is in this game. Is it dark? It has Psychic. Now Sleep Powder won't work. It worked all the time when we were doing the the gym bad, the gym battle. Besides the one time. Now it doesn't want to work. It worked the 75% of the time only on the gym. Okay. The rest is like, nah, it's not happening. Let's 
go with a U-turn. It's not very effective, but it's something at least. It's better than just changing out to another Pokemon. I want to see what Liquidation does in this version. You can't BP by completing BP quests? Interesting. Liquidation. Ooh. Can get, not can't. Yeah. Can't. Oh. You can get BP by completing. Okay. I see, I see. So, Dark is not effective to this. So, this must be... Psychic? No. Because Dark moves would be super effective to Psychic. Right? <laughs> so, this... It must be... Oh, never mind. He's fighting type. That's the normal version. So it's fighting. Er, uh, guess I wasn't wild enough. Let's change out our Pokemon to Gardevoir, because Gardevoir has is an amazing move. Actually, no, Gra Grafei. Because Grafei has amazing move. Let's auto battle. Yeah. Take some time to get over there. No, 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 you don't want me. You don't want me. I definitely want this Pokemon to get to get more moves up so we can get that one move so we can level it up. I want to get to level the the third evolution. I guess it's the second evolution, but There's free versions of that Pokemon normal, which is fighting water, which, which is fighting water. Nope. Nope. Wrong one. I guess. <laughs> wrong one. Wrong one. You weren't supposed to beat that one up. I have a window. Okay. Water and fighting and fire, which is fighting and fire. One of your Pokemon learned a new move. Oh boy. Ah. Uh... Doesn't show up there. Oh, heck yeah! Jump Love got Giga Train. Was my starter? Got Double Team. It has Energy Ball. Energy Ball's worth it. Should we get rid of Seed Bomb for it? Oh no, maybe Magical Leaf instead. The user draws power from nature and fires it at the target. This may also lower the target's special defense stat. 90 and 100. This is 60, but the accuracy is never misses. But we don't have a Venusaur, so we're not doing Magical Leaf. We're doing Energy Ball. <laughs> also, another downside about auto battles is Pokemon more... More evolved during them? Interesting. What move is it that I need to get for this? It's not here. Oh. What level would that be?
don't know more? Does Pokemon... Don't know more evolve during them? I'm now going to look this up. What is the level for this thing? That gets this. This does not evolve anymore. I think. I mean, it doesn't say. So this is its final form? Hmm. Interesting. It's fully evolved. It doesn't feel like this is a fully evolved Pokemon. I guess I'll take it. Is there any more Avalogs? There's one right here. Nope. Get back here. Eat it up. That must have been a tough Avalog. We're getting close. Well, you won't be able to, to fight anymore? There's a lot more Avalogs. Uh, better start healing up again. Oh, what? Why did I use a super potion? <laughs> I guess I'll take it. How much? Oh, it doesn't waste any of my moves? Interesting. Don't forget, you can use the minus button to auto heal. Oh, I did not know. My goodness, there's a lot of Avalux here. Uh, coming up here. Just low kick them. That's all you have to do is low kick them. No, where are you going? My goodness. This is definitely getting a lot of XP from it. It's only time the auto doesn't, the auto heal doesn't heal is when your Pokemon is at HP zero and it doesn't heal status effects. Ooh. Uh, howdy Crunch, how's it going? How much badges do you have here? I have four. Just got my fourth in the mountains. I guess you could take on the Bergmite. Oh, leveled up. Did you learn another move? No. We'll get it one of these days. Is Poison Jab better than Poison Fang? Poison Fang is 50 and 100. Can, can I just look at my moves? Rearrange. 80 and 100. Yeah, that's better. Poison jab's better. You can use the auto by hit X, then use the left arrow key, scroll down to the Pokemon you want to heal, then hit the minus button. So basically like this. But what would it use? My hyper potions? Super or regular potions. Let's see. Uses that. Okay, it used my regular potions. So it, it does do what I wanted to do, which is it uses the lowest amount first. Yeah. Nice. Use your lowest HP potions. Let's go and attack him. 
It doesn't use your high HP potions, and it doesn't use berries. Oh, interesting. Doesn't use berries. Man, on top of this mountain seems interesting. Can you please get rid of these guys a little bit? They're kind of like wanting to tango with me. Getting a lot of Bergmite stuff. Isn't too bad. No! I'm not getting a whole lot of XP. I'm assuming because they're low levels. Oh, look at that. So it doesn't even do like one shots them yet. Well, because Avila can't use takedown because my Grafei is way quicker. It basically doesn't have any issues. What are you going next? Uh, I have no idea. Right now, just taking out Avalugs. Um, after this, probably going to get off next week. I don't know. What do you guys want me to do? Do you guys want me to do more Titan stuff? More Starfall? Or more gems? I've gone four of the gems. I've gone one of the Starfall and two of the Titans. So... The materials you get, you can either sell it, use it for crafting, or use it for the gotcha machine. Ooh. Use it for the gotcha machine. That's actually pretty good. Griffey is getting a lot of levels up here. I need it, actually. Let's take out these guys up here and then probably get off. I'll showcase the map once again before getting off. Showcase where I'm at and where to go next. I have no idea. I kind of want to do something that isn't badge related because of how much I've done for badges is ridiculous. Only done four, but still, I don't want to do any more at this moment. I want to see all the other new stuff, you know? My goodness, there's so much Avalux. How long does these normally last for, these mass outbreaks? I would do more, but... Let's look at map, which is why. So we have is... I took out... Majority of the stuff on the left side. There is a Titan up here. Looks like the Star Falls up here. I zoomed in because it having issues. Starfall. We have a Titan. We have a badge down here to do, which is Psychic. I, I'm feeling this is going to be a hard one to do. Psychic's always difficult. Got another gem. Got a Starfall. Another Titan. <laughs> we, got a, we got this gem over here. They can have up to 60 to 100 Pokemon in them. If you're unlucky, you have 40 to 60 Pokemon in them. And then we have... Oh, yeah, that was a Starfall. And this one, last one, is a Starfall. Let me know what you guys want me to do next. Um, I'm down to do any of them. But I have a feeling if I want to do anything on the right side, I would have to go... Maybe down over here, take the pathway. I like to take the pathway. It seems nice. Or I would have to take the pathway all the way over here and go up. So. Ideas. Ideas. The reason why it's unlucky because you need to be 60 to increase your shiny odds. Let's go and fly. I was like, where's the fly button? Where's the the Pokemon that uses fly? No, no, Garrett, no. Wrong game. Uh, I like the fact they, they got rid of it as an HM. But on the other hand, I'm like... But I liked it. It was actually a pretty good flying move in the early game. 
Anyways. Let's not bring that guy out. Let's save, and then we get off. No need that, but if you beat 60, leave a mass outbreak and come back later, it still counts as 60. Ooh, nice. Nice. So it saves your progress. That's good. Anyways, thank you all for watching this live stream back to the video. If you're new here and you want to see more of this, consider hitting that subscribe button to follow notification bell icon as well as like the video. If you want to see more of Pokemon Violet on this channel. I normally do these live streams on Wednesdays at uh, 1.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you want to come, join in, hang out. It's the time to be. Uh, AKA next Wednesday is when we'll be back playing more Pokemon Violet. Uh, I'm majority, majority of the time a variety type of channel, so I do a lot of different games. If you are interested, then consider hitting that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching this live stream back to this video. And I'll see you next time on Pokemon Violet. And God bless you all. Bye-bye.